Okay, what I'm going to work on now is the brown feathers in this area. And I am going to get my area wet a little bit. Um, just got some water on my brush. And I'm going to work in this area right here. So I'm just going to moisten it a bit. Paper will dry out a lot faster than you think, so you have to work pretty quickly. So, um, and I, I want there to be some definition in these feathers. So, what I'm going to do is blot this area a little bit. Okay. Zoom in a little here. And then. I'm going to get some burnt sienna. I've got a slightly moist brush. You can see about how much water there is on that. So I'm just getting a little bit of brush or paint on my brush and swirling it around a little bit. So I just got a little bit on my brush and I'm going to put in some feathers here. I'm looking at my painting often since I am working in a more realistic style. I do want to look at my picture often to make sure that I'm on track. I'm using this fur brush for these feathers. It gives me a little bit of texture. It would be hard to get with a different kind of brush. Um, now this area over here is drying out a little bit. As you can see, it's holding on to those brush strokes a little bit more, which is okay because there is a lot of, these are tiny little feathers and they do have a lot of texture in them. So I'm not going to worry too much about it being too dry because you do want some details. You don't want everything to be completely soft, just like you don't want every line to be completely hard. So it's good to have a bit of a balance. And just for a little bit of interest, I'm going to pick up a tiny bit of ultramarine in my brush to vary the colors in here a little bit. Not much because this area is pretty much a burnt sienna. Pure burnt sienna. These feathers are mostly just burnt sienna colored, but just had a little interest. And then while I'm at it, I'm going to get even more ultramarine and combine it with my burnt sienna to get this slightly browner color. It's a cooler color. And I'm going to add some of these little feathers through here. Now got too much paint on my brush I think so I'm gonna blot always have a paper towel in your hand so you can kinda adjust I'm gonna blot that a little cuz I don't want it that dark Add a little bit of water to my brush, blot, and put a little bit of definition in these little cheek feathers he's got. Just real subtle. And I'm going to put in some 
feathers all through here. Pick up even more ultramarine in my combination and go through here. This is more of a shadowed spot. My brush is just moist enough for the paint to transfer from my brush to the paper, but that's about it. So that I can get a few more of these little feather details. The drier your brush, the more detailed the stroke is going to be. And this is a pretty dark area. 